Mo. I'm Genoa. And we're having the sex talk. The sex talk. Um, we talk a lot about relationships on here. We do. And dating. Mm -hmm. um, not just sex. And today, um, there's a concept that I wanted to bring up that was really popular a few years ago that he's just not that into you. I loved that book. <laughs> I loved that book. I thought that book was so useful. Um, because I think we've all felt rejected and taken it personally, even when we weren't rejected, when it was very casual, like, mm -hmm. hey, you're just not my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes we will make excuses for why that person doesn't return our calls, why that person is evasive or elusive, right. um, they're busy, or you know they just got out of a breakup, or all of these excuses why they, you know, they're 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 really focused on their career. Um, Except for the one really obvious thing, which is maybe they're just not that into you. Yeah. You know? What has been helpful to me in the past when I kind of got stuck in that taking it personally, getting upset, reject feeling, is there are people that I've dated that I just wasn't that into and there was nothing wrong with them. Right. There was nothing wrong with them. Well, I think the conundrum that happens though is that we end up, we really like these people. Mm -hmm. The people that are just not that into us that we constantly chase or that we constantly mm -hmm. make excuses for are people that we really wish that they were as into us as we are into them. Sure. And so therefore it becomes a one-sided relationship. Okay. Which I feel like those one-sided relationships have more to do with us. Some desire, like for women, I want to have a baby, or I want to get married, or whatever ideal we have, mm -hmm. it's really more about us than it is about them. Because yeah. if it was about them, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be into them. Because they're not into us. There's no reciprocation. Because right? ideally, you want your ideal partner to like you the same way you like them. So right. if they don't like you back and aren't available for you, they're probably not your ideal partner. Right. And so the fact that you're pining away for someone that clearly is not responding in jest right. says to me that this is more about me mm -hmm. or about you, whoever is, is doing the chasing, than it is about them. So how do we get grounded in detaching from someone that is clearly not that into us? Yeah, yeah. How do we do that? It's like if someone throws you a bone once every two months, you're more likely to keep coming back for more mm -hmm. as opposed to if they never throw you a bone. So if someone never calls you and never returns any of your phone call, you're likely to stop contacting them altogether. Mm -hmm. But if someone every once in a while is responsive and comes over and goes out to dinner with you or has yeah. sex with you or whatever, that's going to keep you hooked that much longer. Okay. How do we recognize that this is really a one-sided relationship? Yeah. It's doing something and we're chasing something and we feel like we're not getting our needs met, mm -hmm. that's sign number one. Mm -hmm. But it's hard because you're like, you want it so bad. So I guess the main thing is recognizing that they're not reciprocating. Right. And, and I don't want to get too deep, but it might be helpful to look into your past and see what it is you're replaying in this thing. Is there something from your childhood or your family of origin mm -hmm. that you are recreating with this person mm -hmm. and it's triggering up old stuff why you would be really attached to someone that clearly isn't meeting your needs? Could be from your past or it could be something that you long for. Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned the women wanting Right. You know, babies. Yeah, he's morning. perfect. Yeah. He's perfect. And your, so your clock is ticking and you mm -hmm. want to have a child and therefore you're going to hold on to this, you know, this mm -hmm. ideal that clearly this individual is not. Yeah. I think we've all been in the situation where we've been pining for someone that wasn't that into us and it's hard. Unrequited love. It's also important to remember that it, it does go away. You won't always feel like this. You deserve what you want. Yeah. And you deserve to have it. Yeah. And if someone's not giving you that, you can cut them loose. It's okay. No, it's really okay. Just, yeah, put yourself first. And it's hard and it's painful and it might be really lonely, but I promise it won't last forever. Yeah. And we'll be right here waiting to talk to you. Yeah. yeah. Send us a Twitter. We'll help you out. The sex talk. That's what we do. Yeah. That's what we do. <laughs>